I know everybody was excited to see noted Judge Judy fan Jim Harbaugh in a Washtenaw County, Michigan courthouse fighting it out with the Big Ten on Friday morning. Trust me, I looked at the court file. There were going to be a bunch of TV stations there. The place was going to be packed. It's not happening. Michigan on Thursday announces that Harbaugh will accept the Big Ten's three-game suspension. So he's already sat out at Penn State. He will also not be on the sidelines for the Maryland game this weekend or the Ohio State game, which is obviously the biggie. The release from Michigan this morning, Thursday morning, the university coach Harbaugh and the Big Ten resolved their pending litigation. The conference agreed to close its investigation, and the university and coach Harbaugh agreed to accept the three-game suspension. Coach Harbaugh, with the university support, decided to accept this sanction to return the focus to our student athletes and their performance on the field. The conference has confirmed that it is not aware of any information suggesting Coach Harbaugh's involvement in the allegations. The university continues to cooperate fully with the NCAA's investigation. That investigation, of course, into the sign-stealing accusations involving Connor Stallions, the since-resigned Michigan analyst. And why did this happen? Because it certainly seemed like, as of earlier in the week, Michigan was very gung-ho willing to go to the mats with the Big Ten over this. Well, what happened was the NCAA investigation continued. According to Chris Ballas of the Wolverine, the NCAA was interviewing Michigan players. Some of the stuff that they found may lead to more things. And this is not necessarily a fight Michigan wants to have right now. They can deal with that with the NCAA investigation, which they can deal with after the season because that investigation will probably continue through the end of the season. So what that means is Harbaugh is done for the rest of the season in terms of games, the regular season. But it also means the Big Ten probably isn't going to come back and do anything else. Because remember, this says the Big Ten closed its investigation. So essentially they're saying, we're going to let the NCAA handle it from here. So if Michigan were to beat Ohio State, that would put Harbaugh on the sideline for the Big Ten championship game and obviously for any college football playoff game that might happen after that. Now, here is the really juicy piece of this. Forget the NCAA investigation. Forget the science stealing accusations. Forget all that. Here's where it gets really meaty in terms of the Ohio State-Michigan rivalry. What's been the biggest criticism of Ryan Day over the last couple of years? Not tough enough to beat Michigan. Remember, he got mad at Lou Holtz. Guys, he's going to play Michigan with no Jim Harbaugh on the sideline. Ryan Day is in the ultimate no-win situation because if Ohio State beats Michigan, everybody's going to be like, well, Jim Harbaugh in there. If Ohio State loses to a Jim Harbaugh-less Michigan, to a Sharon Moore-led Michigan, oh, the carnage on the Letterman Row message board is going to be unbelievable. The John Cooper comparisons will come fast and furious. Now, if I'm Ohio State and I beat Michigan and there's no Jim Harbaugh on the sideline, I celebrate my Big Ten East title. I celebrate my likely Big Ten title. I celebrate my likely college football playoff appearance. And I don't think anything more of it. But if they lose to a Jim Harbaugh-less Michigan, it will be a disaster, an utter and complete disaster. I, I am sure, actually, that they probably would have preferred him to be on the sideline for that game. But it's not going to happen now because whatever the NCAA dug up this week in Ann Arbor made it where Michigan's like, mm, maybe not a great look to go fight this in court. We'll just deal with the NCAA investigation as it progresses over the next few weeks and months. The craziest college football story keeps getting weirder and weirder. No idea what's going to happen next. But we do know Jim Harbaugh will not be on the sideline against Maryland. He won't be on the sideline against Ohio State. And we will not get to see him play out any Judge Judy fantasies in a court hearing on Friday. And I think we, the viewers, are the big losers there.